This book, Transforming Rwanda, Challenges on the Road to Reconstruction, focuses on the struggle of a particular Rwandan population that struggled between 1959 and 1973, having their rights violated and turned into refugees by a government that was divisive and discriminatory that it led to the genocide against the Tutsis in 1994. Author Dr. Jean-Paul Kimonio, who was born a refugee in exile, said that there was a growing sense of Rwandans to come back to their home country, even though it it was not easy. Awana bashaka kuhindura amateka ya igihugu. People wanted to change the history of this country. They were doing it against powerful people who led the government of Rwanda. Also, the government, which was led by divisionism, corrupted citizens, hate, and discrimination. The book tells a story from the roots to the revolution in 1959 in Rwanda. It is important to tell how it happened in the country, but when you talk about the changes, you can't forget about the other Rwandans who ensured that change. <laughs> Dr. Kimonyo explained that there is no change that happens without a catalyst, revealing the role of the RPF in Otani in putting together those ideas that refugees had. He explained that those refugee ideas would have not resulted into anything if the principles RPF were not firm enough until today. <laughs> Patriotism, many Rwandans sacrificed a lot in bid to build their own country. It was important. Secondly, they had a good leader. It led them towards the objective of change. I think those two aspects were important. Some of the participants of this book launched shared sentiments of this book and what it means for the generation today and those to come. Rwanda. The Rwanda of today, foreigners come here and get surprised, but this book shows us where we come from and where we are headed. I believe this book will motivate many others to write. Writing is not easy, it requires a special skill. This is the only book that I know that is very comprehensive on the history of what made some Rwandans escape into exile, why they left, the kind of life they lived, where they lived, how they came back and the reasons behind that, plus achievements after they came back. <laughs> The book, Transforming Rwanda, Challenges on the Road to Reconstruction, is the second of Dr. Jean-Paul Kimonio after the first one called Rwanda and Genocide Populaire, of how genocide was executed by low-level local citizens.